Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, July 18th. How's everybody doing this great morning? Lovely day here in New York. Not a drop of wind. Nice and sunny. Good to see you. Amy, Mark, good to see you. Don, look at all these great people. Fred, Chris, everyone. Akira, Michael, everyone. All right. And all everyone else, let's get right into it. First of all, I want to talk really quick about the pre-market and CBIO. And you know what? Early bird gets the money as usual. I know a couple of people did pretty well in the stock this morning. Uh, we actually were shorting it. Some people... See, the problem with shorting is that some brokerage firms, um, because you can't do naked shorts anymore, there's only X amount of shares that they can allocate that they have in inventory. I know some of us did pretty well. I think, Ken, you, made, you did pretty well. I did pretty decent on it. But the big thing is, even if you didn't trade it, um, I did point out something that we're going to be learning in class uh, today. You know, obviously you got the phase of the courses. Remember, that's where you really learn how to trade. And one of the big things I was talking about was the uh, was was the Fausto flags. Um, and sure enough, we had a great great example at 13 bucks. Everyone should have killed it right there because right at 13, even watching the thing come from 17. Now, by the way, I start trading at 7:30 in the morning. I'm usually here. Uh, room opens up at 8 a.m. I see a lot of you guys strolling in here and there, but. Even if you came in right at that time, right around 8.15, which is right around here, uh, you could see how that stock just basically built a nice little Fausto flag, and boom, we're right down to 11. So everybody did pretty well on it, all right? Uh, Benito did pretty good too also. You trade what, the, um, the Morgan Stanley trade? This is what it's all about, pre-market. Listen, I keep telling everybody, you know, and it's funny because some people think like, oh, you can't trade pre-market, or um, it's too dangerous, this and that. You know why it's too dangerous? You know why you can't? Because no one taught you how to do it. That's what it is. So make sure you guys are in class and uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it because I know that we're going to cover uh, these things that what you've just seen even the pre-market and how they kind of came to fruition in class. Now, in the meantime, let's talk about what happened yesterday because you know we'll talk about what's moving this morning. First of all, we killed it. A lot of good stocks made some big moves yesterday. IQ was one of them. Uh, right out of the gate, 35 to about 37. Yahoo, you know, once again, uh, great day trade, volatile swing trade. And a lot of people, you know, we, we held it for a nasty shake. Some people, listen, we own it here in 19. We ran to 45, got back into it. Once start building support level around 30, so everybody should be doing pretty good. Not just on the, on the, sw on the day trade yesterday, but everyone should have been having the stock on a swing trade. Same thing with Hoya, which trades side by side with it. H U Y A. That one also great little pop right there. Went from the thirty-seven to about the forty dollars. Nice little quick gate right out of the gate. Now a lot of this has been happening regarding with Netflix N F L X. Now listen, I know a lot of you guys can't afford it. I talked about it yesterday on Trade Station uh, regarding about Netflix. But you know what? If you bought, I don't know, ten shares, probably within your budget. <laughs> 100 shares would cost you 35000 35, Um But sure enough, it had a really nice little pop right there. And you could obviously trade side by side because, uh, the, the IQ and, and the HUYA, which was basically following along with it. And also Roku. Roku also did pretty well. The ROKU, another one in the same industry. So that one did 47.51. So that was great opportunities that everyone across the board. If you miss one, you could remember you, 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 we, we teach you this in class how to find out which ones are trading the same industry. And uh, because you, because you think you can't afford to trade one, you could trade something else and how to follow along. So great lesson. Um, also, what we covered in class, but also doing it and applying it in the market. So um, you know, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was a little upset yesterday because. Um, you know, let me just uh, kind of bring one of the stocks up. I was a little upset yesterday because um, this RIOT trade right here, I was actually talking to one of the students and, um, you know, and as I was talking to the student regarding about something, um, you know, which is okay. Listen, I'm a big boy, but I missed this opportunity uh, to trade this one right here, went from 480 to 680. You could see a blockchain had a great run up, but uh, but listen, you know what is what it is. I'm out there to kind of always trying to help people to understand why you need to do this, and always trying to recruit. And uh, you know, lost a lot of money on this trade, 
Not that I lost money. I didn't get into the trade because I was talking to someone. But once again, you know what? Just want everybody to know, I put, I put a lot of heart, a lot of effort, try to get you guys to understand how important it is to be part of the team. And, uh, and sometimes it does cost me a lot of money and losses, like uh, not trading this one. But what it is, what it is. I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. But anyway, I know a lot of you guys made a lot of money on it. I was sitting there watching it, and I was sitting there getting sick to my stomach. Anyway, another one that had a nice little pop, uh, the R R A, the R A R uh, N A R A. This one had a nice little cheap little mover. Everyone could afford to trade the stock. It was with everyone's price range. Uh, let me tell you, there was it was a whole list of stock and uh, the A M R H. I think it was the last one I want to bring up. Yeah, that one was the one that came right out of the gate. Went from a, a buck twenty all the way to two sixty. Great in pre market and had a good movement. So a lot of good stocks out there to trade uh, that we traded. Now, uh, just to let you know before we get uh, get into some of the other stocks that we're going to be watching. Remember, a lot of the stocks that we found, um, about two or three of them was when we found in pre market. There was a whole new list that came out, and that's the whole idea about working together like a team. Now uh, we're going to cover a lot. Like I said, we're going to cover a lot about what happened yesterday in class. Now, um, in today's class. Now, what are we trading going into this morning? Well, listen, the CBIO, you know, we saw it. Stock is starting to build a little bit of Fausto flag right here. Stock looks pretty good. It's going back on the watch list. ATOS, another one I found this morning. Not a big, big mover. I'm telling you, I didn't find a lot going on this morning. Um, so we're gonna have to kind of like pick from the bottom of the barrel. ATIOS, 7%, really not our forte. You know, we're always trading stocks of 30, 40, 100%, 7%, eh, you know what it is? I'm getting a little desperate. There wasn't that much out there, but we only need one to make money. Uh, IMMU, this one we've traded several times, stocks up a little bit nicely this morning. Decent spread, good volume, breaking all time high. MOG is another one I found this morning in pre market. Stock went from 320 to 360, up about 6%, 85,000 shares traded. Not the end of the world, but it's got some good movement. MTG, another one to throw on the watch list. This one looks a little bit better, gapped up pretty nicely, up 5%, 75,000 shares. It is testing some resistance levels. Not You got a big iceberg order right here of 17,000 shares. So someone's definitely interested in buying it at 1175, and you could see why on the chart. So read between the lines. And then obviously the... Morgan Stanley trade stock um, had some good earnings. I know some of you already traded it. Benito, I think you did pretty well on it. Uh, it's good. It, it, it had some good resistance levels right around here and it backed right off. Stock is a very volatile stock. I just want to kind of clarify something, everyone. If you're not, and, and I know we're going to be covering this in class today. There are levels that you're at when you're a trade, a cyber trader. And you know you need to know what level you're at. If you don't, you're gonna blow up your account. So um, this stock, I'm giving it a three. You know, just because I, number one, it's a, it's a brand name stock. Number two, it's over the twenty dollar threshold. So and and number four, uh, because of the news, it's gonna be very volatile. Everyone's gonna trade it. Stock already. I mean, it didn't trade that many shares. I'm shocked, kind of shocked. Half a million shares in pre market. It's not a lot. And being up three percent. But you know what? Listen, does, if, if you can't make money with this, there's a lot more out there. Uh, ben already made 25 cents already in CBIO. See, that's what I'm talking about. Let's give him a round of applause as we're sitting there. Way to go, Ben. All right, so we got our list right there. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six stocks. And um, that pretty much, uh, as of what we see in pre-market, a lot of us already made money in CBIO. You'll probably end up taking a day off. All right, now um, a couple a couple announcements, guys. Um, I just was in I, I was just informed by TradeStation that I am going to be doing a they're doing this big workshop, which is one week long, um, starting July thirtieth, and um, I, was, I, I posted a link up in the trading room. I'll post it up again. I don't have it in front of me the the link, but I'm, I'll have we'll, we'll post it in the next few minutes. But um, I'm going to be flying to Chicago. They're going to be doing an event at their office uh, for a whole week. It's a great event. They even have a you know a great uh, dinner, and they're going to do a you're going to be able, they're going to do a great tour. A lot of great challenge, a lot of great stuff. So um, if you guys are interested, you're in the area. If you want to do a really nice workshop with TradeStation, um, I am actually going to be the featured 
uh, speaker to be there. So, uh, and also it'll be great to see you guys uh, there also. So um, let me know if you guys are gonna be there. All right, I'll give you guys a link if you guys wanna register for that event. So once again, it's one week long and you're gonna have the best of the best of Trade Station out there, all their staff, and it's gonna be an intense training on-site event. And I'll be their guest speaker there on Tuesday. All right, guys, uh, good luck today. Happy training. I'll put these stock picks in there. All the new members here, hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. You talk to your education advisors, let know, knowing that if this is for you or not, hopefully you, you kind of realize after the first hour of trading. And then hopefully you'll be, uh, if we feel that it's for you, we'll let you know. If not, then that's okay too, because trading's not for everyone. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading today. See you back at 2.30. Or actually, I'll see you in class. <laughs> Good luck, everyone.